Ryan. This is pro tips on how to look after a wheelbarrow carefully. This wheelbarrow is the equivalent of about $250 tax in. So we really want to look after them. Uh, making sure that we wash them after we have mixed concrete in them or, or carrying concrete. We also want to make sure that when we're loading with an excavator that we do not hit this at all. Make sure you're good and above it. If you're worried about it tipping, then have somebody hold the wheelbarrow steady so that you don't get close enough to hit it. When you bend all the legs, they are fixable, but a lot of times it never tracks the same. Other things to note with the wheelbarrow, this particular unit has a flat free tire, uh, so meaning there's no tube in it. Other things are that we want to make sure we we keep the, the nuts on tight. So every couple months or whenever you notice them, it's, it's a good idea to get out your, your socket set or your wrench and tighten them up. These tires will take grease fittings. So we'll take grease. So what we want to do, we want to make sure when we do this grease fitting is put, put it on there, but don't squeeze so much that it's coming. Oh, make sure it's on there. There we go. That it's, that it's, that it's coming out here. Because what happens is that it'll drip on the on the client's driveway or on the patio or something like that. Just enough to keep it keep it moving well. Another key a key item is on the wheelbarrows to make sure that these things, because they are adjustable left to right, are kept tight. So this wheelbarrow sits in the middle and it's as steady as possible. Just wanted to quickly show you that this barrel has not been taken care of. Although I've seen worse, you'll notice that it has been hit several times. So what happens is even when you have a load in there, it, it tends to be lopsided, not so bad. This one's loose in general, telling me that the bolts are either not tight, uh, the wheel has probably never been greased, there may be some wear in there. I can see that this has been bent at the back just from the arc in this, which means that when you set it down often at times, it won't sit flat. It, and then if your load is one-sided a little bit, it can tip over. This one here has had a broken handle. And this stuff happens. Um, this one also hasn't been washed out nicely over time. This stuff does happen. All we're trying to do is take care of our stuff so that we don't have to purchase new assets all the time. And we have pride in the, in the, the stuff we do have. Last but not least, the wheelbarrow is also known as the Chero. And if you ever have a time for a nap, <laughs> this is a very comfortable way to do it. That's Wheelbarrow Tips with Ryan.